Consider this. It is estimated that one in 68 children in the U.S. are on the autism spectrum. Right now, there are no FDA-approved treatments for the disorder or its symptoms. That's why, as Ursula Perry reports, there's a lot of excitement when a drug is discovered to make a difference, even if it's an old drug. Dr. Robert Navio suspected the cause of autism might be metabolic dysfunction, where the energy molecule, ATP, is outside cells. He researched more than 2,000 drugs and found one that might help. That drug was Suramin. Dr. Navio tested one dose in a clinical trial of 10 boys. Five of them got the drug. Children began to talk sometimes for the first time uh, in sentences in their life. Boys who got Soroman had autism severity scores drop from 8.6 down to 7, the lowest point on the spectrum. They improved social, language, and fine motor skills and found relief from repetitive motions and fragmented sleep. Miles McInerney was in that trial but did not receive Soroman. He still wanted to help. I should generally be interested in the ability to possibly find a way that people with worse autism or struggle more with autism than I do to possibly be able to find a solution that can help them better communicate. He now uses rowing to reduce the stress related to his autism. But for those who did get the drug, Dr. Navio says most but not all of the effects wore off in eight weeks. Some children had learned to tie their shoes for the first time, and then other children had learned to uh, zip up a jacket. Um, those fine motor skills w were motor memory and that had been retained. Miles and his mom are encouraged by these results. Next up, phase two trials that are going to determine the safety and efficacy of the drug. Then phase three trials begin in three to four years. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.